I'm delighted to have you all here and that you've joined us today for the launch of Trademark East Africa. I've got to say, this is the fulfillment of a dream for me to be addressing you all today on this happy occasion. The dream started four years ago when I had the honour to meet the Secretary General, Ambassador Juma Mwapachu and his, and his team, including Ambassador Onen, the then Deputy Secretary General of the EAC. I'm delighted that they're here with us today. We discussed potential support to the East African community, and they urged us to try to do something different, to really make a tangible contribution to supporting East African integration and trade for the improvement of lives of millions of East Africans. With their help and inspiration, the ideas behind Trademark East Africa were born, and I thank them again for their insights and guidance in making Trademark East Africa really happen. Trademark East Africa is different. It's different because it works at both regional and national levels, as well as with the ultimate people who benefit from regional integration, the private sector and civil society, or Wananchi. Trademark East Africa aims to engage holistically, looking at regional integration as a system with many component parts. This may make it complex, but this is what you, our stakeholders, want. It's what East Africans have told us is necessary. Our journey in making Trademark East Africa a reality continued through a stage of intense design, consultation and piloting of approaches with hundreds of people across East Africa. We gained insights, we got a lot of knowledge and understanding where the best, um, to which the best purpose development assistance could really be put. Which I'll enumerate. First of all, the development of transport corridors in the EAC region an infrastructure program that crucially links the EAC with its tripartite partners, namely Comesa and SADAC. Second, integrated customs border management to improve efficiencies in customs administration. This project crucially uh, includes the establishment of one-stop border posts uh, in the EAC region. Third, enabling the EAC and its partner states better organize themselves in building a galvanized regional position or negotiating the Comesa EAC SADAC free trade area protocol, which is expected to be launched soon by the Comesa EAC SADAC heads of state. In the context of this broad tripartite process, Trademark East Africa has extended technical assistance support to the EAC in the form of secondment of key staff employed by Trademark East Africa, seconded to the EAC. These staff are now part of the EAC Tripartite Coordination Unit. Fourth, Trademark East Africa is currently in the process of setting up a video conferencing facility at the EAC headquarters, which will link the Secretariat with all the ministries of EAC affairs in the five partner states. This facility should go a long way in improving intra-EAC communications and will, in good time, result in reduced costs incurred in travel and meetings. Fifth, the establishment of country offices in all the five partner states of the EAC will ensure, will ensure that there is uh, better integration of national and regional uh, programming. It's with these remarks that I declare officially open the activities of Trademark East Africa, and it's my belief that recommendations from this forum shall contribute to make our community more solid.